EWK2, our YouTube channel for our Grand Cherokee and our off-road animal stuff. You can't see me because it's nighttime. I can't actually see you. Oh. <laughs> Wanted to do a little walk around of tripod so you guys could see different set the uh, bumper, the different light setup, and all the different things we got on it. First off, obviously, the Predator bumper. You guys have seen this before. You can't really see it with the lights. So we will put a daytime picture of the Predator bumper in here. But the light setup, you've got these compartments down here that are protected. But floodlights, it's all I've got down there right now. They fit, I believe, up to a, like a six inch wide uh, light bar if you wanted to put something bigger with a different beam pattern or a combo pattern. The cool thing about these is the bolts right here come out. So once you remove this bottom panel, you can unscrew this right here and remove your whole light while it's attached to the flange that's inside. So you don't have to reach up and unscrew them or anything like that. It makes it really easy for removal and installation. There's a slot in the middle for a light bar. Uh, did not have any other lights when we first got this light bar. So this one's just a flood. I just wanted a little bit more area lighting, but you can fit a 20 inch light bar. Um, be sure you read your specs because some of them are actually 20 inches wide and some of them just the light bar part is. So you can actually fit a little bit bigger light bar in there depending on what brand and all that. We also have different fog lights because you can't put the OEM fogs in this bumper. So we want some different ones that are SAE compliant. Then onto the fun stuff. So these are dirty as hell. But these are the Offered Animal 9 inch ass kickers. They have side shooters that shoot out almost 90 degrees. So with two of them, you get 180 degree lighting spread. And then they have spot beams that come down the middle. And it's a pretty broad spot. We are actually at Maris Adventure right now. And you can see these light up way down there. And if it wasn't a tree in the way, they actually light up a whole lot further than that. So I love these things. Excuse my little bracket thing that I have up here right now. They um, a little bit of a vibration, and so I've got this to help kind of tame that down. I'm going to work on something different. If you're in Australia, you are one of the lucky ones because they have a rally hoop that attaches to the top of the Predator bar and will actually house these lights, and it is a much more solid um, way of attaching them than the brackets. So I'm hoping that comes to the U.S. at some point. But until then, we're going to go this route and maybe something a little nicer because I know this is the cleanest. Up here, we have our off-road animal three-inch spot. And these are our ditch lights. We have them aimed off to the side just a little bit. They're aimed up a little higher than the fog, the, I'm sorry, the floods that are in our bumper. Those provide immediate ground illumination right in front. So for like slow turning, especially here, there's a lot of cliffs and holes and things you don't want to drive off of or into. Um, the ditch lights, the way we have them aimed, they're out just a little bit. They're right at the edge of the, where the headlight beam cuts off on its broad spread. So it gives us a little bit wide, wider field of illumination. And then because it's a spot, it also puts a little more light, throws it straight down. So a lot of people run a combo for these or a flood, but we wanted a little more distance than just what a flood would provide. Okay, this is pitch dark, no lights. This is our fogs only. This is with the WK2 HIDs. We actually are running the Osram CBNs, which is the cool blue intense next generation. These do a pretty good job of throwing some light down there. The only ones that are actually better are the Nightbreaker lasers, and they are a little bit yellower light, closer to what stock comes with. These are just a little bit wider. All right, we're gonna turn these back off, and then we'll run through our other lights. So these are the nine inch ass kickers. Just the ass kickers, nothing else. And then here's the difference between the ass kickers and with our headlights. And this is high beam. Again, that's low beam, that's high beam. That's the ass kickers. There we go, they're back off again. Add the ditch lights. And then when you add the ditch lights to it, that gives you a whole ton of side to side illumination. And that's with just those three on 
I'm sorry, just those four lights on, the two pods, three inch pod spots from off-road animal, and then the nine inch ass kickers in the front. And then when you add your regular headlights to the mix, you are pretty well covered. And even, I mean, you don't even need brights because your brights don't do anything. <laughs> and then you can turn on the light bar just for fun because it's still there. Yep. And then you can turn on the bumper fogs, get a little bit out to the sides up close, light bar. Does nothing. I mean, there was a little bit of fill. You just, you blinked, so you missed it. And that is the rundown. I will um, add a picture of the off-road animal predator bumper with the light set up during the day so you can see what I'm actually trying to show you. Stay tuned and we will have some more videos coming for you soon. Hopefully a uh, little montage from Guadalupe Mountains and then some, uh, the, some of the awesome trails out here at Maris Adventure. Uh -huh.